So, in case you haven't heard yet, Epstein didn't kill himself. I'll be making a video on the whole Epstein situation soon, but instead of doing the same thing everyone else is doing, and making vids about him, I think it's more important to look at the fact that people in positions of power are caught raping kids all the time, usually getting lighter sentences, and most people don't even know their names, faces, or crimes. So in my series of Pedos in Power, I'll be shedding light on five authority figures caught sexually assaulting kids, or assisting those who do, per video. Additionally, only those convicted of these crimes will be featured. My goal is to convey facts, not perpetuate potentially false allegations or hold court on my channel. Let's hit it. Stephen Robert Deck was a California Highway Patrol officer convicted of attempting to solicit sex with a minor. Chris Hansen's efforts would expose not only him, but many other police officers as would-be sex offenders, as part of an ongoing series called Perverted Justice. In this particular case, Officer Deck, who was also reported to have attempted to solicit sex from two non-decoy minors, was lured in by a decoy named Amy, telling her he wanted to eat her beautiful young cunt, stuff daddy's cock inside her, and much worse. To drive for almost an hour, attempting to engage in lewd acts with a minor. Mark Kelly, the Orange County Superior Court judge at the time of his original conviction, and a former prosecutor, gave him preferential treatment and decided on no prison time. Deputy District Attorney Robert Mestman gave him probation, and that's all, which Deck would later appeal. In 2014, the Ninth Circuit would overturn all of that related to lewd acts with a child, letting him off with a technicality, and he now receives disability payments on the taxpayer's dime. But sometimes, you don't even have to go very far from home, because sometimes the threats are in your home. Such is the case with Daniel Amador, a Seattle Police Department sergeant found guilty of first-degree child molestation, second-degree child rape, third-degree child rape, and first-degree incest. All of this stems from rapes that had been occurring since his daughter was nine, whereby she would be pinned down, either partially or fully clothed, groped, and sometimes raped, all while her father used mental manipulation to make it seem as though she was being rightfully punished for things she did. For his other daughter, who was supposedly not the favorite, he would lie on top of her while doing the same and worse. Additionally, he would block off the door while he had the favorite daughter in the room, forcing the other one to watch cartoons for hours while he had his way with her. The children engaged in self-harm and Amador would regularly tell them that they would be separated if he was ever put in jail. This means they didn't say anything until much later in life. The favorite one would open up later about everything, and the less favored one would recall the cartoons, saying, I just thought immediately. All the times I would watch cartoons for hours, and I was completely oblivious, and she had been getting hurt her whole life, and I didn't know. In another case of a cop abusing a family member, Harris County Patrol Officer Andrew C. Sestacia Jr., son of a veteran investigator at the Sheriff's Office, was sentenced to 27 years in prison for having around 200 images of child porn on his computer, some of it involving a family member's daughter. Much of these images and videos were taken himself, and some of the disgusting sexual acts involved him specifically. His department found out he had taken a video of him fucking a dog. And after they searched his devices, they found a trove of child porn, some of which was taken when the children had spent the night at his place in sleepovers. The judge described everything as horrific, and the mother of the victims addressed the courtroom, saying, For the monster that is before us today, 
The cost of your crime cannot even begin to be computed, as its effects may be compounded throughout the entire life of my baby. Who knows how much counseling she will need? Who knows how her future relationships will be affected? Who knows what my baby thinks when looking at an officer of the law, or a man, or a family member? A monster indeed. In another case of police abusing trust, Robert Kane of the Los Angeles Police Department, son of another officer, was caught sending sexually explicit messages to a cadet who was under 16 at the time. Afterward, it was found that he had performed oral copulation and had sex with her. He pleaded no contest in court and faces an exceedingly light two-year sentence. He'll register as a sex offender and won't be able to be a cop again. Cops found out about his abuse because they were investigating allegedly stolen cruisers and equipment taken by cadets under his control. Ten days before the cruisers were stolen, he took the cadet on a trip to Six Flags, abusing her multiple times. He was also sentenced to two years in prison on illegal weapons charges. Trust cops to get light sentences for breaking the law. A solid example of blue privilege. He told her it was going to hurt, Prosecutor Lori Schmidt told the Washington Post, and she screamed. The last case is former Illinois policeman David L. Wright, who forced his victim of over a decade of abuse to take the stand for 30 minutes, only to abruptly plead guilty in the middle of it. The quote I started this one with is a recounting of her first encounter with him, taken into Wright's bathroom in the second grade. As far as waiting ten years to disclose, this isn't uncommon in sex abuse cases, Schmidt told the Post. Sometimes people never disclose. He received 23 years sentence, but got credit for 478 days already served in county jail. He'll have to register as a sex offender, but in my opinion, not enough. And the judge seems to agree. Kane County Circuit Judge DJ Tegler said, You have not done anything but ruin her. Tegler also said, Quite frankly, I think 500 years sounds reasonable, as the sentence was delivered. Couldn't agree more. If these stories anger you, and they should, just remember them the next time you see a post about Epstein or some other high-profile pedophile in power. The state's monopoly on force is all too welcoming a haven for the vilest scum among us. And sometimes, those entrusted with the power to protect are drawn to that protected power to use it against the common person and shield from accountability. Also, get involved in government accountability project and follow pages dedicated to regularly exposing both the state and pedophiles, because there's more overlap between those categories than many want to admit. If you want to join my regular efforts to hit pedos and help kids and adult victims of child sexual abuse, feel free to get on Keybase and find the Anti-Pedo Act server. We will be glad to have you. These videos are brought to you by Liberty Under Attack Publications and Liberty Professionals. Looking for a Liberty-focused publisher? Liberty Under Attack Publications assists authors through the entire publishing process, proofreading, editing, cover designs, paperback and Kindle formatting, and full audiobook narration and post-production. Tell them Jeremiah sent you and take 20% off a full-service deal. They also publish books and strategy guides for individuals looking to increase their personal freedom. Great anarchist fiction like Agora and guides like Shane Radliff's Vanu, Strategy for Self-Liberation. To publish your next book or to find your next read, please visit libertyunderattack.com. Share your story. Find your freedom. Liberty Professionals will help you secure your home, small business, and life. It's run by a residential security expert who is an ACES board certified physical security professional. And if you need work done in the Virginia area, they do missing persons investigations, skip tracing, and more. Contact them for more info. He has all the necessary tools in his toolbox to bring you peace of mind and stability for the future. Support Liberty businesses and these streams by heading over to libertyprofessionals.com to get your consult today. 
It's also brought to you by my patrons. Thank you all for sticking with me all this time. Gonna be a lot more original content soon. Time to earn both my keep and my following. Smash this state.